My name is Marnie, and from here on out, I'm going to be your very own personal wing girl. And it's my job to give you the no BS, honest truth about what women really want versus what they say they want. But before I dive into this video, I wanted to be sure you're subscribed to my channel, because you should be. I don't want you missing out on any of the awesome insider information I share on my channel every week about what women really want and how to become the man women want. So click subscribe below and you're in really easy. I also suggest clicking the little bell icon so that you can be notified as soon as I post a new video. And I have one more request. If you like this video, which I know you will, please click the like button and share it with as many wonderful men, just like you, that you can. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how and when to sexually escalate with women. I promise that you will be forever thankful to me for this video because most likely you are not escalating correctly and creeping women out, which is no good. It's not on purpose, but you are. So let me just take a step back for a second and share an email I got from Corey. He's one of my personal email coaching clients. I'm pretty sure if you are watching this video that either you've done what Corey has done with women or you may do it in the future, so this will help. So you may hit your head after this video and think, oh my God, I'm an idiot. Or you may say, Marnie, you're so amazing. Uh, thank God I watched this. So here is Corey's email to me. Hey Marnie, can you still ask a girl out after going overboard on a drunk night before purchasing your wonderful product, which there is a link to below, by the way. I had a drunk moment and replied to one of my hot friends posts on Facebook. She posted that she wants a hug that turns into sex. I thought it would be appropriate to comment on there by saying, do you still need a hug? With a smiley, smirky, winky face at the end. She replied back with, oh my goodness, and I haven't heard anything from her since. Did I do something wrong? Or if I did something right, what do I respond back with? Your extremely thankful student, Corey. My first initial response to Corey's message to her was that was so cheeky and bold and I love it. So I wrote back to him and I told him that I loved it, but that now he has to own what he said and not back down from putting that sexual vibe out there. It was not on her to continue escalating because that wouldn't be very ladylike. I do want you to note that he didn't write back saying, oh, I'll do you, or I'm down for sex, ride me, or just send like a blatant dick pic that is never welcomed by any woman. And by the way, these are direct quotes and responses from men who have written to me, so I'm not just throwing them out there. Instead, he inferred and talked around being sexual, but didn't say it outright. This is the first step to sexual escalation. It's playing with an idea to see how the woman responds. If she shuts it down and redirects, it's a sign that she's not into it or that you have to start over. But if she does what this girl did, it's an open invitation to keep going. Her response was shock. She said, oh my goodness. She didn't go cold or tell him off. She expressed shock, which was a sign for our friend Corey to keep going and show what else he's got. So I told Corey to own his bold statement, keep going and respond back with something like, so no on the hug then with a smirky face at the end. I'm sure there are way better responses you can put together on your own, but do you see how these are still teaser responses and don't jump straight to sex? I sent this back to Corey and he immediately replied with, Oh my God, Marnie, I would probably pay triple just to get instant message help from you because your line worked. I said no on the hug and she replied, hugs are nice with a winky face. This made my day. I was like so happy. He was sexually escalating and flirting with her beautifully and the fun had begun. And then he said this, I was planning on responding with, they are nice. How about I take you out and see if my hugs can make you go crazy? What do you think of that response, Corey? I wrote Corey back immediately saying this, do not send this, no, ever, never, never, never. What do I think of this? I think it is way too big of a jump to go from innuendo to I'm going to stick my penis in you and you'll go crazy for it. I know porn has probably taught you that women like this, but we really don't, like we really, really don't. I know I advise it in another video, but I'm gonna advise it again. Go pick up a woman's romance novel one with a really muscular guy on the cover and long hair holding a woman in a dip or something and like looking longingly into her eyes. That's how you will know it will be super gushy and good. Get it and read it and see how the slow build to sex is continually presented. These books never have a story of a woman walking into her salon and the hair washer saying, I've been waiting for you, you naughty girl, now bend over and I'll give you what you deserve. But you know, actually, that was kind of hot, but 
I, I'm also adding more context into that because there, I have stories in my own head, but that's separate. I'm confusing you now and I totally apologize. But in Corey's situation, he had not built anything up yet with this girl. If you haven't built up to that point with a woman, your advances won't be received well. Corey, you gotta go slower. Lead towards sex, don't pounce. So what you could have done was something like, hugs are nice, but a good cuddle session is even better, dot, dot, dot. And then build from there. After that, if she's in agreement that cuddles could be fun, then you could invite her to come over and cuddle with you, but warn her not to get too frisky and that you're not that kind of guy. Or you could say something like, uh, don't think this means you're getting lucky or just because I'm inviting you back to my place doesn't mean I'm easy. Something like that. Again, little teases, side note. Anytime you were in flirting mode with a woman and tell her not to do something or don't do X, Y, and Z, she will immediately have an urge to do the opposite. See how you're still expressing the same thing you wanted to express, which is implying sex, but you're doing it in a much more subtle way that won't scare off a woman. So Corey wrote back the next day telling me he did exactly what I told him, but added in a little of his own flair based on my guidance and guess what? Corey had a very nice cuddle session with his friend that didn't stay as cuddling for too long. When she got over, he teased her more and told her to keep her hands to herself and she immediately started groping him. They laughed, he tickled her, and I mean, the rest is Corey's story to share. I'm not gonna do that. Men who understand how women work will always have the upper hand with women. So let me give you a constant upper hand. If you're interested in having the success with women you've always wanted but didn't think you could have, then here's what I suggest. I've put together a free 45 minute video that will show you the way to getting everything you've ever wanted with women. Just click the link in the description box below this video and I'll post one in the video somewhere and you will get immediate access. Remember, finding the right girl doesn't have to be hard. When you understand how women actually work. I'm Marnie, I am your very own personal wing girl. Use me and let me help you get the women you want and keep the women you already have. Go watch the video now by clicking the link below.